Welcome back to the Tribe Northside. This is Principal Bridgman. I am so excited that you guys are here with me today. This is the start to our 2020-2021 school year, and it is going to be an amazing and awesome year. Our theme this year is Time to Shine. It doesn't matter if we're in the middle of a pandemic or not. We are going to shine, and it is up to you. You can be a senior, junior, sophomore, or freshman. You are now part of the tribe. This year we have a few things that we're going to focus on, guys. We're going to focus on students, safety, instruction, structure, support, solutions, and success. At Northside, it's all about the students. You are first in our book, and we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure you win. Student safety is also important. This year, the biggest thing you can do is make sure you are following all of our guidelines. And at Jackson Madison County Schools, we want you to remember three things. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. This year, instruction is going to be unique. You will be using all types of online programs from Microsoft Teams to Google Classroom. So our structure in our classroom will be different, but we still will be focused on instruction. We are going to support you guys no matter what, and we're going to find solutions and look for the successes. Students, this year is all about a new norm. Everything is different, but we still have some tribe norms that we want you to follow. You're gonna hear us talk about using virtual editing because most of you guys are gonna be operating online. You're gonna be communicating your teachers through email. And so it is very important that you know how to do that appropriately. So we're gonna be appropriate at all times and we're gonna practice virtual editing. When we're on campus, we're gonna make sure that we are being safe, that we're wearing our masks, that we're listening to the staff members, and I promise you, we will be taking care of you. Northside, it's time to shine. It's a great school year. We're happy to have you back, and we're gonna be great. Is coming in. I guess I'll find All right. Well, glad to have our sophomores here today. You guys, it is time to shine. We are thankful that you are made it in. Uh, we're going to get started with our kind of our virtual class meeting. So again, we are excited that you are here this morning with us. Uh, we have a pretty good sized group. As I told you guys in the gymnasium, if no other class is excited, you guys should be excited. Uh, most students, when they come to high school, the one grade that they dislike is freshman, freshman year. You're learning, you're meeting new people. A lot of the older students, they sometimes disrespect you and say, hey, you're just a freshman. So you are out of that boat now. You guys are into your second year of high school and it's an important year. It's a year where, as we said in the gym, if you made a few mistakes as a freshman, if you didn't do your absolute best in classes, if you didn't make it happen, well then you can turn it around this year. You've only had eight classes in your high school career. And so no matter what happened in those classes, you can recreate yourself. You can recreate your high school experience, but it is time now to get started. You're no longer looked at as freshmen. You are looked at as full high school students who are past that beginning stage. And so now we expect you guys to be leaders in your classroom and here in the school. If you play athletics, Sophomore year is when people start shining. Sophomore year is when coaches start saying, hey, this is a kid who's a leader on my team. This is a student 
who can be special. The teachers are gonna do the same thing. Um, they're gonna look at you and say, hey, here's a student in his second year in high school. They are starting to excel. They're starting to really uh, focus in on what they wanna do and where they wanna go. And this is the time to do it. So there's no better time than the present to actually start working hard, to actually start shining. We all understand that it is a pandemic going on and you guys have new challenges, but I've been telling each group that these challenges are definitely tough for us old folks. Uh, I'm having to learn how to use Zoom, Microsoft Teams. I'm not having to learn how to use Google Classroom. But for you guys, you are already prepared. You've been using technology your entire lives. Most of you guys, you were born if you were handed an iPad or some type of electronic device. And so you've been operating those and you've been navigating uh, through the internet your entire existence. All you have to do now is learn how to take that knowledge and push it into your instruction and into your learning. And you guys can do it. So it will be different, but I know you are well prepared. We do want you to be patient. Uh, we do want you to understand that everything's not gonna happen immediately. When you're dealing with technology, there will be days that things aren't working, but we're going to figure it out and we're going to make our way through. And our ultimate goal is that you guys will win. This morning, we have a couple of things. We have our counselors who will jump on here in just a second and talk to you about things about sophomore year and things that pertain to you as a student. And we we'll also have an opportunity where your teachers will be working with you, making sure if you're getting a device today, you know how to log on to it, uh, what to do when you get on, how to get into the various programs and platforms uh, that we'll be using this year. So you wanna make sure that you get that information before you leave today. Also, you should have in your packet that you will receive a page from every classroom teacher that you have. On that page, they will give you information about themselves, about that class, how to access the information and the assignments for that class, and most importantly, how to contact that teacher. So you wanna make sure that you have four of those for every class uh, that you uh, will be uh, participating in this school year. Um, that way you are able to share that with your parents uh, this afternoon when you get home. So uh, at this time, uh, we have our counselors that are jumping on board. So we'll get, let them jump on and share with you guys a little bit about from the counseling department. I think you ladies are muted. So let's see if we can get you guys unmuted. Uh, and there you go. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? We can hear you. Okay, great. Um, sophomores, <laughs> welcome to school today. I'm glad you guys got to come. It's very good to see you. And we are looking forward to working with you this year. Um, if you had me assigned as your counselor last school year, I will be your counselor again. So that's students with last names A through L. And then if your last name starts with M through Z, we have a new counselor who is at our school this year, Ms. Sandra Lanier, and she will be your counselor for um, this year and next year. I'm gonna let her introduce herself Good morning, sophomores. Uh, yes, I, I am Sandra Lavere. Uh, I have been here before a couple of years ago and I, I'm returning. I'm taking Miss Hattie's place. So um, if anything that Miss Hattie did for you uh, at that time, I, like she said, I had I have M through Z. And so um, you can come to me with any of your issues uh, related to anything. And um, I want to hope you had a good summer and are ready to get back into things. Um, I also remember that, you know, I am learning. I came from the middle school, so I recognize a couple of you all, uh, but I came from the middle school, North Parkway Middle, back over here. And so um, it's an adjustment for me, so just be patient, but um, I will get it worked out. And um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is uh, related to your uh, schedules. Um, you, you're, you have the schedules that um, 
you will receive today. But if there, you need to look at them really closely, and if there's any problems on them, um, that we try to go by, you know, what you put in your schedule request. But if there, you need to have a schedule change, or if there's a reason why you think that you should, other than the fact that you may not like the teacher uh, or, or the class then there's a link at the bottom of the uh, schedule that you have that you can go in and make that change but you have to go by the uh, reason reasons that are listed in there um, and you just go in there and it's electronic only there are no paper forms this time so um, again welcome and um, I'm excited about this year and learning all the faces new faces and it's your time to shine all right, a few things I wanted to make sure that you guys um, see in your packet. And I know you're getting a lot of information today. You should get a flyer from our office that has our contact information, um, you know, a little bit of information about this school year. It also has the instructions and codes to sign up for our Remind Text groups. So there's a group set up for your class and um, your um, alphabet letters. So I encourage you to sign up for that today. Please share that information with your parents so that they can sign up also um, for either a text or remind messages. So through our office, we will be sending out information that way. And there's a great feature where it also allows you to send messages back. So if you have questions for us or um, have questions about messages that we, um, send out then you can contact your counselor directly that way also i think that will be especially helpful this year while everybody is at home um, and lastly we just really encourage you to um, focus on school right now um, it, i know last year ended very um very crazily for everyone mm -hmm. <laughs> and um this year we have to get have everyone back and focus on school focus on learning and focus on your future um, we want you to be successful so please let us know if there's any way that we can help you and we look forward to a great year also on those schedules the deadline is the 31st so make sure you look at them now because the deadline is the 31st to have anything changed thank you all right thank you ladies great job all right um right now teachers um if you would if we have any students who have questions or concerns that we have not covered uh so far you can go ahead and throw put that over in the chat or you can just jump on and ask those questions for your students uh, either way if there are any questions from individual students in the classroom uh now's the time to ask those Uh, while those are coming in, if we have any, also teachers, we want to want to make sure the students are well aware. Uh, if you are getting a device today, the teachers will be giving you a unique ID. It's the same login for every student. This login is the password and login you need to use whenever you uh, log on to your computer. So it's just the log in to open your computer up you will use your own individual login once you get into the program but you must use the unique id and login that they're going to give you today to get your computer open every time that you use it if you use your own individual login your computer will malfunction a few days from now so we want to make sure everybody understands that make sure you have a clear understanding and your if you do it while you're here, that login will come up every time you uh, start your computer. All right, we do have a few questions. Uh, one uh, from Ms. Jordan's classroom uh, says, what do students need to do for a schedule change? All right, well, you guys were not paying attention uh, earlier with our counselors, so I'm gonna let them repeat the information about uh, schedule changes. So Ms. McCauley or Ms. Lanier, if you guys would jump on about schedule changes. Oh, okay, can you hear me? We can. All right, 
Um, so for schedule changes, if a student thinks there is an error on their schedule, that means they think they are scheduled in the wrong class. If that is the case, we want to know about that. And there is a link printed at the bottom of all of the student schedules that they can use to request a change. So requests need to be sent electronically through that link at the bottom of their schedule. They're only accepted electronically as well. Yes, yeah, so please don't just uh, send students to the guidance office today. Uh, in fact, if there's something that you think they need to uh, speak with the guidance counselor today, send the guidance counselor the quick uh, IM or email uh, so they can let you know if they are available. Uh, Ms. Jordan, you missed, if you missed the beginning, uh, once we get off, I'll send you a link to the uh, welcome video so you maybe can show that for your uh, students because uh, we definitely want you guys to be able to hear the first part. I think uh, for Mr. McCauley, your question, that is Ms. Lanier. Oh, are you if you're talking about student, uh, is there, I guess, teachers, if you could tell us if you have the P's, and I think P's may have been divided. Uh, he's looking for what teacher has the P's, if y'all will jump on or put that in the chat. And looking at it, it looks like that's Mr. Rep Logo that may have the students with last name P. All right. Guys, that's all. If that's all we have, you guys have been a great, great group. Uh, we want you to make sure you get your information. Um, if you, it looks like it's pouring down rain right now. So if you're getting a laptop, make sure you have something to put it in or maybe hold off and let your parent pick it up later because you don't want to get a good laptop today and get it soaking wet. And then it's not going to work when you get home. So we'll try to see if we have some plastic bags around here that we can give you if you do not have a bag with you. But please do not take your laptop just out in the weather today uh, with the rain as it's doing right now. So those of you getting those, uh, we'll try to get around to the teachers with maybe some bags or something here in a moment. Uh, and guys, have a great morning. Uh, teachers, please make sure you go through all the information with the students and we will try to get uh, you something to help protect those laptops here momentarily. All right, guys, have a great morning. And remember, it is time to shine.